All right, guys, as part of the orange bundle that Tyler at Exquisite Timepieces sent over is this Nevada Gretchen Depth Master 1000, a very cool vintage-inspired brand in general. It's been, they've been around since 1926 or reimagined or something. I don't know all of their history. They threw out 1926. Okay, I believe you. And it does have some vintage cues to it. Also, the orange dial and some of the dial details on here are also kind of, uh, you know, uh, giving homage to some of their past. And we'll cover that in a little bit. But first off, we're going to cover the size of this watch. It is a 39 millimeter wide case. The lug to lug is a 47, which makes this watch probably smaller than I like. It definitely works on my wrist, and I'll show you that here in a moment. But it's just smaller than I prefer. But totally doable. The thickness, 13.2 millimeter. You can see you have that sapphire crystal just slightly proud of the bezel and domed. You have a 20 millimeter lug opening here. And with all of the Nevada Gretchen watches, you have a barrage of options when it comes to straps or bracelets. This bracelet is actually a Forsner bracelet which I just picked up uh, another one of their bracelets not that long ago right here. They make really good stuff. They're, they make a lot of uh, bracelets for more vintage watches. Um, and they're, they're definitely, um, like this one, for example, you know, they, they had to make it this way in order for it to, you know, pay tribute to, like, the way these old bracelets were done. It's thin. It's you know, folded, stainless, it's kind of janky feeling, but the sizing on it is really cool, the way you put it on and size it, and I'll show you that here in a moment, and once it's on wrist, it's incredible, uh, the comfort that it provides. You wouldn't think so, but like, because you're like looking at it, and you're like, yeah, but some of these Forgener bracelets are just outstanding, so you can do a beads of rice bracelet with this, or this bracelet, or there's a couple other options, or you can just go with like a, a leather strap or something like that. Um, it's going to change the price point. You know, if you go with the metal bracelets, they're basically just under twelve hundred, and I think they're under a thousand if you ditch the bracelet option. Hundred twenty click bezel on this guy, full stainless steel, and yeah, it does match up. Um, I got my time grapher on over in the corner there, and it started to pick up these ticks off in the corner. Pretty funny. And then you do have a screw down crown, six point five millimeter signed screw down crown, and it is rated for one hundred meter water depth rating. So why does it say Depth Master, Depth Master 1000 on the dial? I don't know, because it's a Depth Master, Depth Master 1000. It also says on the bottom there, L, Swiss made L. So Swiss made, you know, down at the bottom in between the six, meaning that it does uh, meet the Swiss made criteria, whatever that is uh, these days. Uh, but inside the movement is the Soprod P024 No Date Automatic winding uh, movement as well as you know you can wind it with the crown as well and then a little bit of nod to history they you know put the l there the l is to signify that they're using super luminova for the loom on this watch the, the loom is great but on old watches they would all they would put like the the t or something if they were using tritium or whatever they were using um, you don't need to do that these days so it's pretty cool that they actually put that on there uh, just again a little bit of throwback to the history of the way watches were once done. Super legible handset. You can kind of see there they're gloss black, it looks like. So it contrasts really nice. And then instead of on the cardinal positions, you have like 12, you know, all the evens, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So um, a little bit different layout, and I love the balance of the dial. I just wish it was, I don't know, in a larger watch. But one day maybe I will gravitate towards this particular watch. You do have a helium escape valve on this watch as well i mean because for one i know some people are going to be like what do you need you don't need that you straight up don't need that i think it's nice because it kind of breaks up the the case side on this so you have the crown over here that breaks it up and on this side you have that helium escape valve to kind of break that up a little bit i like it a nice case back very simple screwed down screwed in whatever and drilled lugs now let me try to demonstrate how this bracelet works because I got this silly tag in the way. But basically, you put it on like this. This is your uh, clasp thing here. So you just literally just do that. It slides on. 
you want the watch to be on the top side. You wrap this around and you just have these double pushers with these little claws. You, so you figure out where you want to put it, you push those in and it just snaps in and you're good to go, just like that. And they're pretty short lengths, so getting the size that you want is going to be not quite infinite, but uh, you get the all of the bracelet to size it. So if you have a much smaller wrist, you just keep going. That's going to end up up here. Um, but maybe you can remove links, I'm assuming, but you can go all the way up here. Or if you have a larger wrist, then there's tons of options to go the other way. So like I said, it is actually legit, super comfortable, and it clearly works on my wrist. Um, you know, whatever your preference is, uh, or however you think this may look on my wrist, um, you know, chime in on the comments, however you want. Yeah. Um, I, until I got used to, until I would get used to this, I would probably get a little bit of wrist claustrophobic. But it's um, it's not it's not too bad. I'm doing this in real time. There's this silly tag kind of hindering me a little bit, so um, that's causing some problems. But once you kind of figure out how to do it, kind of maybe hold there and just let it free flow down through. Now let's give it a. Actually, how would it look on this bracelet? Because the beads of rice looks good. You know what? It would look good on this bracelet too. I think so anyway. So yeah, check out Forsner uh, bracelets. I don't know that Exquisite carries those bracelets independent. Um, I don't know that they carry a whole lot of accessories like that, but um, it's on this, that brand of bracelet is on this watch already, so. Check out the loom. There you go. Pretty dang good loom. Plenty of it. Super Luminova, whatever formula they decided on. Uh, glows green, so you can speculate some sort of like C3X1 or C1X1 or whatever numbers or letters they're using. It's bright. It's good. No complaints. Big thanks to Tyler and the entire crew at Exquisite Timepieces, Naples, Florida, authorized dealer for over 60 watches, as well as a massive pre-owned selection. Tell them I sent you a link in the description.